10 Mysteries About Cats in Islam 1. The Sacred Status of Cats in Islam In Islamic tradition, cats hold a unique and revered status, unlike any other animal. This sacred status is deeply rooted in religious texts and cultural practices, making cats not just beloved pets but also symbols of purity and divine favor. The Quran, the holy book of Islam, does not explicitly mention cats, but numerous hadiths, sayings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad reflect the positive view of cats. These hadiths are crucial in understanding the Islamic perspective on cats. For instance, one widely cited hadith narrates an incident where the Prophet Muhammad was performing ablution, a ritual washing before prayers, and a cat drank from the water he was using. The Prophet did not chase the cat away but allowed it to drink, demonstrating his respect and kindness towards cats. This incident exemplifies the broader principle in Islam that cats are ritually clean animals. Unlike dogs, which have specific restrictions regarding their cleanliness, cats are allowed to roam freely in homes and mosques. This belief in their purity extends to the idea that cat saliva is clean, which is why the Prophet's action of allowing the cat to drink from his water was significant. Historically, Muslims have integrated this reverence into their daily lives. Cats were not only pets, but also protected and cared for in various Muslim societies. Islamic law, or Sharia, includes provisions for animal welfare, emphasizing that kindness to all creatures is a sign of faith. This has led to the establishment of numerous traditions and practices focused on the care and protection of cats. In many Islamic cultures, feeding and sheltering cats is seen as an act of piety. The story of the companion of the Prophet, Abu Huraira, literally, father of the kitten, is often told to illustrate this point. Abu Huraira was known for his love of cats, often carrying a kitten in his sleeve. His name itself reflects this affection, and his actions have inspired Muslims throughout history to care for cats lovingly. The reverence for cats is also evident in the architectural and social fabric of Islamic societies. In Turkey, for instance, mosques often have designated areas where cats can rest and find food. This tradition is rooted in the belief that cats, being clean and gentle creatures, deserve a place in sacred spaces. This practice continues to this day, with many mosques maintaining feeding stations and shelters for stray cats. In summary, the sacred status of cats in Islam is a testament to the religion's broader emphasis on compassion, cleanliness, and respect for all living beings. Through religious texts, historical anecdotes, and cultural practices, cats have earned a revered place in the hearts and homes of Muslims around the world. 2. The Prophet Muhammad's Love for Cats the love and affection that the Prophet Muhammad showed towards cats is well documented in Islamic tradition and serves as a model for Muslims on how to treat animals. One of the most famous stories illustrating this love is that of Mu'edza, the Prophet's favorite cat. According to tradition, Mu'edza once fell asleep on the sleeve of the Prophet's robe while he was preparing for prayer. Rather than disturb the sleeping cat, the Prophet gently cut off the sleeve of his robe, allowing Mueza to continue resting peacefully. This act of kindness and consideration highlights the Prophet's compassion and respect for the well-being of animals. The story of Mueza is not just an isolated incident, but part of a broader narrative in which the Prophet Muhammad demonstrated his love and care for cats. He often spoke about the importance of treating animals with kindness and mercy. In one hadith, he is reported to have said, A good deed done to an animal is as meritorious as a good deed done to a human being, while an act of cruelty to an animal is as bad as an act of cruelty to a human being. This philosophy extended beyond cats to all animals. 
but cats held a special place in his heart and household. They were allowed to enter his home and even sit on his lap during teachings. The Prophet's companions also followed his example, treating cats with similar reverence and care. The affection that the Prophet Muhammad had for cats has had a lasting impact on Islamic culture. It has set a standard for animal welfare that continues to influence Muslim behavior towards cats. In many Muslim-majority countries, cats are often found in homes, markets, and even mosques, where they are welcomed and cared for by the community. Moreover, the Prophet's love for cats is reflected in the various laws and ethical teachings in Islam that advocate for the humane treatment of animals. These teachings emphasize that animals, like humans, are creations of Allah and deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. This belief is manifested in daily practices such as providing food and water for stray cats, ensuring they have shelter, and protecting them from harm. In contemporary times, the Prophet's example continues to inspire Muslims around the world. Numerous animal welfare organizations in Muslim countries work to rescue and care for stray cats, embodying the compassionate spirit of the Prophet Muhammad. These efforts are not only acts of charity but also reflections of deep-seated religious values that prioritize mercy and kindness towards all of Allah's creations. 3. Cats in Islamic Art and Culture Cats have left an indelible mark on Islamic art and culture, reflecting their revered status and the deep affection they inspire. From ancient times to the modern era, Cats have been depicted in various forms of Islamic art, including manuscripts, pottery, and textiles, showcasing their symbolic and aesthetic significance. Islamic art is known for its intricate patterns, vibrant colors, and symbolic representations, and cats often feature prominently in this artistic tradition. One of the earliest examples of cats in Islamic art can be found in medieval manuscripts. These manuscripts, which include scientific texts, poetry, and religious works, often contain illustrations of cats, sometimes alongside human figures or in natural settings. These depictions not only highlight the presence of cats in daily life, but also symbolize their roles as companions and protectors. In Persian miniature paintings, a highly refined and detailed form of art, Cats are frequently portrayed in domestic scenes, indicating their integral role in the household. These miniatures, often created to accompany literary works or historical accounts, depict cats lounging in gardens, playing with children, or sitting gracefully beside their owners. The meticulous detail in these paintings reflects the artist's admiration for the beauty and elegance of cats. Pottery and ceramics from the Islamic world also feature cat motifs. These items, which include bowls, vases, and tiles, are adorned with images of cats in various poses. The use of cat imagery in everyday objects underscores their cultural significance and the affection people had for them. The designs range from realistic portrayals to more stylized and abstract representations highlighting the versatility and creativity of Islamic artists. Textiles and carpets are another medium where cats have been immortalized in Islamic art. Rugs and tapestries often feature intricate designs that include cats as part of larger scenes or as standalone motifs. These textiles were not only decorative but also served as status symbols, reflecting the wealth and taste of their owners. The presence of cats in these designs further emphasizes their esteemed position in society. Beyond visual art, cats have also influenced Islamic literature and folklore. They appear in numerous stories and poems, often symbolizing virtues such as grace, independence, and loyalty. In Sufi poetry, for instance, cats are sometimes used as metaphors for the soul's journey towards divine love embodying the seeker's quest for spiritual enlightenment. The cultural impact of cats extends to architecture as well. In some regions, such as Turkey, 
historical buildings and mosques have designated areas for cats, reflecting the cultural and religious importance of these animals. The presence of cats in these sacred spaces is a testament to their symbolic purity and the respect they command within Islamic culture. In contemporary times, the influence of cats on Islamic art and culture continues. Modern artists and writers draw inspiration from traditional depictions of cats, blending historical styles with contemporary techniques to create new works that celebrate the enduring bond between humans and cats. Exhibitions and publications dedicated to cats in Islamic art have also helped to preserve and promote this rich cultural heritage. In summary, cats have played a significant role in Islamic art and culture, symbolizing purity, grace, and companionship. Through their depictions in various forms of art, literature, and architecture, cats have left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and captivate people across the Islamic world. 4. The Spiritual Symbolism of Cats In Islamic thought, cats hold profound spiritual symbolism, reflecting deeper meanings beyond their physical presence. This symbolism is rooted in religious teachings, cultural beliefs, and mystical traditions, all of which contribute to the elevated status of cats within Islamic spirituality. One of the primary aspects of the spiritual symbolism of cats is their association with cleanliness and purity. As mentioned in earlier chapters, cats are considered ritually clean in Islam, a belief that underscores their spiritual significance. This purity is not just physical but also symbolic, representing a state of spiritual cleanliness that Muslims aspire to maintain. The presence of a cat is often seen as a reminder of the importance of maintaining both physical and spiritual purity in daily life. Cats are also viewed as symbols of protection in Islamic culture. This belief is partly derived from historical anecdotes and partly from the inherent nature of cats. In many Islamic households, Cats are kept not only as pets but also as guardians against pests and harmful creatures. This protective role extends to a spiritual dimension, where cats are believed to ward off evil spirits and negative energies. The calm and composed demeanor of cats is thought to bring a sense of peace and tranquility to their surroundings, fostering a spiritually harmonious environment. In Sufi mysticism, which emphasizes the inward search for divine love and truth, cats hold a special place as symbols of the soul's journey. Sufism often uses metaphors and allegories to convey spiritual teachings, and cats are sometimes depicted as representing the seeker's quest for divine knowledge. The independence and curiosity of cats mirror the Sufi's journey towards spiritual enlightenment, characterized by a constant search for truth and a deep personal connection with the divine. The mystical symbolism of cats is further enriched by various legends and folklore. One such legend is that cats have the ability to see spirits and sense the presence of the unseen. This belief ties into the broader Islamic concept of the unseen world, al Ghaib, which includes spiritual entities and realities beyond human perception. Cats, with their keen senses and enigmatic nature, are seen as intermediaries between the physical and spiritual realms, capable of perceiving what humans cannot. Another spiritual symbolism associated with cats is their representation of balance and harmony. Cats are known for their graceful movements and balanced nature, qualities that are often admired and aspired to in spiritual practice. In Islamic thought, Balance is a key principle, reflecting the idea of maintaining equilibrium in all aspects of life, including one's relationship with the divine, oneself, and others. Cats, with their poise and grace, serve as reminders of the importance of balance and harmony in one's spiritual journey. The spiritual significance of cats is also reflected in their role in dreams and omens. In Islamic dream interpretation, Tabir al-Ru'ya, 
The appearance of a cat in a dream can have various meanings, often depending on the context and behavior of the cat. Generally, a friendly and gentle cat in a dream is considered a good omen, symbolizing protection, comfort, and positive changes. Conversely, an aggressive or fearful cat may indicate challenges or spiritual unrest, prompting the dreamer to reflect on their spiritual state and seek guidance. 5. The Legend of the Cat's Mark One of the most fascinating aspects of the reverence for cats in Islam is the legend of the cat's mark, often referred to as the Prophet's Thumbprint. This legend holds that many cats carry a unique mark on their foreheads, which is believed to be a blessing from the Prophet Muhammad himself. This mark is seen as a symbol of divine favor and protection, further elevating the status of cats within Islamic tradition. The origin of this legend is tied to a well-known story involving the Prophet Muhammad and his favorite cat, Muedza. According to the tale, one day the Prophet was giving a sermon, and Muedza, who was very fond of her owner, climbed onto his shoulder. During the sermon, Muezza began to purr loudly, and the Prophet gently patted her on the head, leaving a mark. This mark, it is said, was passed down to her descendants and is seen on many cats to this day. This legend has various versions and interpretations, but the core message remains the same. The mark on a cat's forehead is a sign of the Prophet's blessing. This belief has deep spiritual and cultural significance reflecting the special bond between the Prophet Muhammad and cats. It also serves as a reminder of the kindness and compassion that the Prophet exemplified towards all creatures. The mark itself is often described as a distinct pattern or spot on the cat's forehead. While not all cats have this mark, those that do are often regarded with particular reverence. In many Muslim communities, these cats are treated with great care and respect, as their mark is considered a sign of their special connection to the Prophet Muhammad. Beyond the physical mark, this legend carries symbolic meaning as well. It highlights the idea that cats are not only beloved pets, but also spiritual beings with a unique connection to the divine. The mark serves as a tangible reminder of the Prophet's teachings on compassion, kindness, and the sanctity of all life. It reinforces the belief that animals, like humans, are deserving of respect and care. The legend of the cat's mark has also influenced various cultural practices and beliefs. In some regions, it is considered good luck to have a cat with the mark in one's home. These cats are often believed to bring blessings and protection to the household. The presence of such a cat is seen as a positive omen symbolizing the presence of divine favor and the Prophet's blessing. In addition to its cultural significance, the legend of the cat's mark has also inspired artistic representations. In Islamic art, cats are sometimes depicted with a distinct mark on their foreheads, emphasizing their special status. These artistic depictions serve to honor the legend and remind viewers of the spiritual significance of cats in Islamic tradition. Overall, the legend of the cat's mark is a powerful symbol of the deep reverence and affection that cats inspire in Islam. It reflects the broader themes of compassion, respect, and spiritual connection that are central to Islamic teachings. Through this legend, cats are not only seen as beloved companions, but also as carriers of divine blessings reinforcing their special place in the hearts and homes of Muslims around the world. 6. The Role of Cats in Mosques The presence of cats in mosques is a unique and heartwarming aspect of Islamic culture, particularly prominent in Turkey. These cats are not just tolerated but are often welcomed and cared for by worshippers, reflecting a broader Islamic ethos of compassion and respect for all living beings. This chapter delves into the historical and contemporary role of cats in mosques, 
highlighting their significance and the ways in which they are integrated into these sacred spaces. Historically, the welcoming of cats in mosques can be traced back to the Prophet Muhammad's time. The Prophet's affection for cats, exemplified by his beloved cat Mueza, set a precedent for Muslims to treat cats with kindness and respect. This cultural norm has been carried forward through centuries, leading to the current practice of allowing cats to live in mosques. One of the most famous examples of cats in mosques is the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey. The Hagia Sophia, originally a Byzantine cathedral turned mosque and now a museum, has long been home to many cats. These cats roam freely within the complex, often interacting with visitors and worshippers. The most famous resident cat of Hagia Sophia was Glee, a gray tabby who became an internet sensation for her endearing presence and friendly demeanor. Glee's popularity underscores the special place cats hold in these sacred spaces and the affection people have for them. The practice of caring for cats in mosques is not limited to high-profile sites like the Hagia Sophia. Across Turkey and other Muslim-majority countries, many mosques have designated areas for cats, providing them with food, water, and shelter. This tradition is rooted in the belief that cats, being ritually clean and gentle creatures, deserve to be protected and nurtured. These cats often become beloved members of the mosque community, with worshippers taking turns to ensure their well-being. The role of cats in mosques also extends to their symbolic significance. In Islamic thought, cats are seen as protectors against harmful creatures, such as mice and rats. By keeping the mosque free of pests, cats help maintain the cleanliness and sanctity of these holy places. This practical role is complemented by their symbolic purity, reinforcing the idea that they are suitable inhabitants of sacred spaces. In addition to their practical and symbolic roles, cats and mosques contribute to the spiritual ambiance. Their presence is often associated with tranquility and peace, qualities that are conducive to prayer and reflection. The sight of a cat calmly resting in a mosque can evoke a sense of serenity and remind worshippers of the importance of compassion and kindness in their spiritual practice. Modern initiatives to care for cats in mosques reflect a continuation of these historical and cultural practices. Many mosques now have structured programs to ensure the health and safety of their resident cats. Volunteers often step in to provide veterinary care, vaccinations, and regular feeding. These efforts not only enhance the well-being of the cats, but also foster a sense of community and shared responsibility among worshippers. In summary, the role of cats in mosques is a beautiful example of Islamic compassion and respect for animals. These cats are cherished members of the mosque community, serving both practical and symbolic purposes. Through their presence, they remind worshippers of the values of kindness, purity, and tranquility that are central to Islamic teachings. The enduring tradition of welcoming cats into mosques highlights the deep connection between faith and compassion in Islamic culture. 7. Islamic Teachings on Treating Animals Kindly Islamic teachings emphasize the importance of compassion and kindness towards all living beings, and this extends prominently to animals. The Prophet Muhammad's life and sayings, as well as various Quranic verses, underscore the significance of treating animals with respect and care. This chapter explores these teachings in detail, shedding light on the ethical framework that guides Muslims in their interactions with animals, with a special focus on cats. One of the core principles in Islam regarding animal welfare is the concept of Rahma, mercy. The Prophet Muhammad is often described as a mercy to the worlds, Quran 21-107, and his actions towards animals reflect this divine mercy. Numerous hadiths illustrate his compassionate treatment of animals and his explicit instructions to his followers 
to treat animals kindly. In one well-known hadith, the Prophet narrates the story of a woman who was punished by God for starving a cat to death. He said, a woman was tortured and was put in hell because of a cat which she had kept locked until it died of hunger. She neither gave it to eat nor drink when it was confined nor freed it so that it might eat the insects of the earth. This hadith clearly underscores the severe consequences of cruelty towards animals and the importance of ensuring their well-being. Conversely, another hadith recounts the story of a man who was forgiven by God for giving water to a thirsty dog. The Prophet said, while a man was walking on a road, he became very thirsty. He found a well, went down into it, drank water and came out. Suddenly he saw a dog panting and eating mud because of excessive thirst. The man said to himself, This dog is suffering from thirst as I did. So he went down the well again and filled his shoe with water and gave the dog to drink. God forgave him for that deed. This story highlights the virtue of compassion and the spiritual rewards associated with caring for animals. The Quran also provides guidance on treating animals with kindness. It states that all creatures are communities like humans, Quran 638, and that there is no creature on earth or bird that flies with its wings, but they are communities like you, Quran 638. This verse emphasizes that animals are also part of God's creation and deserve respect and consideration. Islamic law, or Sharia, includes specific guidelines for the humane treatment of animals. For instance, when animals are used for work, they must not be overburdened, and their physical needs must be met. The Prophet Muhammad instructed his followers to be mindful of the well-being of their animals saying, Fear God in your treatment of animals. He also condemned unnecessary harm to animals, such as mutilation or the use of animals for sport or entertainment in ways that cause suffering. The teachings on kindness towards animals are reflected in the everyday practices of many Muslims. Feeding stray animals, providing shelter, and ensuring their health and safety are common acts of charity and compassion. These actions are seen as expressions of faith and are often encouraged by religious leaders and community members. Cats, in particular, benefit from these teachings due to their revered status in Islamic culture. The Prophet's love for cats has inspired Muslims to treat them with special care and affection. In many Muslim-majority countries, it is common to see community efforts to care for stray cats including feeding stations, shelters, and veterinary care. In contemporary times, numerous animal welfare organizations in Muslim countries advocate for the rights and well-being of animals, guided by Islamic principles. These organizations work to rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome animals in need, embodying the compassionate spirit of Islam. 8. The Miracle of Cats Sensing Danger Cats have long been believed to possess a unique ability to sense danger and protect their owners, a trait that has earned them a special place in Islamic folklore and tradition. This perceived ability is often regarded as a miraculous gift, reflecting the deeper spiritual significance attributed to cats in Islamic culture. This chapter explores the various anecdotes, beliefs, and scientific perspectives surrounding the idea that cats can sense danger. One of the most enduring beliefs in Islamic folklore is that cats can detect the presence of jinn, supernatural beings, and other unseen entities. According to Islamic tradition, jinn are beings created from smokeless fire, who coexist with humans but live in a parallel dimension. While humans cannot typically perceive jinn, it is believed that cats, with their keen senses, can detect their presence. 
This belief is rooted in various hadiths and stories that describe cats reacting to unseen entities, often serving as protectors for their human companions. For example, it is commonly believed that if a cat suddenly behaves erratically, such as staring intensely at a seemingly empty space, hissing, or acting frightened, it may be sensing the presence of a jinn or another supernatural being. In such cases, the cat's behavior is seen as a warning, prompting its owner to take precautionary measures, such as reciting prayers or seeking spiritual protection. Beyond their supposed ability to detect supernatural entities, cats are also believed to have an extraordinary sense of impending natural disasters. Anecdotal evidence from various parts of the world suggests that cats, along with other animals, often exhibit unusual behavior before earthquakes, storms, and other natural calamities. This behavior may include restlessness, vocalizing more than usual, or seeking shelter in unusual places. In Islamic tradition, this ability is often viewed as a divine gift, enabling cats to serve as protectors for their human companions. While these beliefs are deeply rooted in cultural and religious traditions, there is also some scientific basis for the idea that cats can sense danger. Cats possess highly developed senses, including acute hearing, enhanced vision in low light, and a strong sense of smell. These abilities allow them to detect subtle changes in their environment that humans might overlook. For instance, cats have been observed to react to changes in barometric pressure and ground vibrations, which can precede natural disasters such as earthquakes and storms. Their heightened senses enable them to detect these changes and react accordingly, often by seeking safety or displaying signs of distress. This scientific perspective provides a plausible explanation for the seemingly miraculous ability of cats to sense danger. In addition to their physical senses, cats are also known for their strong, intuitive abilities. Many cat owners have reported instances where their cats seem to sense their emotional state or anticipate their actions. This intuition is often attributed to the close bond that cats form with their owners, allowing them to pick up on subtle cues and changes in behavior. In Islamic culture, these intuitive and sensory abilities are seen as further evidence of the special status of cats. The belief that cats can sense danger and protect their owners reinforces the idea that they are more than just pets. They are guardians and companions with a unique connection to the divine. The miraculous abilities of cats are celebrated in various cultural practices and traditions. In some Muslim-majority regions, it is common to keep a cat in the home as a protective presence. Stories and legends about cats saving their owners from harm are passed down through generations, further cementing their revered status. 9. The Influence of Cats in Sufi Mysticism Sufi mysticism, with its emphasis on the inner spiritual journey towards divine love and truth, has a unique and profound relationship with cats. Cats are often seen as symbols of spiritual wisdom, independence, and divine insight within Sufi traditions. This chapter delves into the ways in which cats influence Sufi mysticism exploring their symbolic significance, their presence in Sufi literature, and their role in the lives of Sufi practitioners. In Sufi mysticism, the journey towards God is often depicted as a path of seeking, characterized by love, devotion, and a deep yearning for union with the divine. Cats, with their independent and contemplative nature, serve as powerful metaphors for this spiritual quest. Their ability to navigate both the seen and unseen worlds resonates with the Sufi idea of traversing the material and spiritual realms. One of the key symbolic attributes of cats in Sufi mysticism is their independence. Cats are known for their self-reliant nature, often wandering freely and choosing their own paths. 
this independence is seen as a reflection of the Sufi seeker's journey, which requires a degree of detachment from worldly attachments and a focus on the inner self. Just as cats move gracefully through their environments, Sufis aspire to move through the spiritual path with grace and poise, guided by divine love and intuition. Cat's contemplative behavior also mirrors the Sufi practice of meditation and introspection. Sufis often engage in deep reflection and silent contemplation to connect with the divine. Cats, with their serene and attentive presence, are seen as embodiments of this contemplative state. Their ability to remain still and focused, seemingly lost in thought, serves as a reminder of the importance of inner tranquility and mindfulness in the spiritual journey. Sufi literature is rich with references to cats, often using them as symbols to convey deeper spiritual meanings. In the works of famous Sufi poets such as Rumi and Hafiz, cats appear as metaphors for the soul's quest for divine knowledge and the mysteries of the unseen world. These poetic references highlight the spiritual wisdom and insight attributed to cats, portraying them as companions and guides on the path to enlightenment. For example, Rumi, one of the most celebrated Sufi poets, often used animals in his poetry to illustrate spiritual truths. In some of his verses, cats are depicted as embodiments of spiritual seekers, navigating the complexities of the material world while striving for a deeper connection with the divine. This symbolism emphasizes the qualities of curiosity, wisdom, and independence that are essential for the spiritual journey. In the lives of Sufi practitioners, cats often play a significant role as companions and sources of inspiration. Many Sufi masters and followers have kept cats, valuing their presence for the tranquility and spiritual insight they bring. The companionship of cats is seen as a source of comfort and reflection, helping practitioners to cultivate patience, compassion, and a deeper understanding of the divine mysteries. The relationship between cats and Sufis is also reflected in various Sufi practices and rituals. For instance, some Sufi orders incorporate the presence of cats into their gatherings and spiritual activities. The calm and composed demeanor of cats can enhance the atmosphere of meditation and prayer, fostering a sense of peace and spiritual focus. In addition to their symbolic and practical roles, cats are also seen as protectors in Sufi mysticism. Just as they are believed to sense danger and ward off negative energies, Cats are thought to offer spiritual protection to their human companions. This belief reinforces the idea that cats are not only physical beings, but also spiritual allies, supporting Sufis in their quest for divine truth. In summary, cats hold a significant place in Sufi mysticism, symbolizing independence, contemplation, and spiritual wisdom. Their presence in Sufi literature practices and daily life underscores their importance as companions and guides on the spiritual path. Through their symbolic and practical roles, cats contribute to the rich tapestry of Sufi traditions, inspiring seekers to navigate their journey with grace, insight, and a deep connection to the divine. and cat welfare. In contemporary Muslim communities, the welfare of cats continues to be a reflection of the enduring values of compassion and kindness emphasized in Islamic teachings. Modern initiatives and organizations dedicated to cat welfare embody the principles of mercy and respect for all living beings, ensuring that cats receive the care and protection they deserve. This chapter explores the various ways in which modern Muslim communities and organizations are working to promote cat welfare, highlighting the ongoing commitment to these beloved animals. Across the Muslim world, numerous animal welfare organizations and community groups have been established to address the needs of stray and abandoned cats. These organizations often operate on the principles of charity, sadaqa, 
and community service, providing food, shelter, medical care, and adoption services for cats in need. Their efforts are guided by the Islamic teachings on kindness towards animals and the Prophet Muhammad's example of compassion. One notable example is the work of animal shelters and rescue organizations in Turkey, a country with a long-standing tradition of caring for stray cats. In cities like Istanbul, it is common to see feeding stations and shelters for cats, supported by both governmental and non-governmental organizations. These initiatives ensure that stray cats have access to food, water, and medical care, improving their quality of life and reducing the number of animals on the streets. In addition to providing direct care for cats, these organizations also engage in public education and awareness campaigns. By promoting responsible pet ownership, the importance of spaying and neutering, and the ethical treatment of animals, they aim to foster a culture of compassion and respect within the community. Educational programs in schools, community centers, and mosques help to instill these values in the younger generation ensuring that the tradition of caring for cats is carried forward. Volunteer efforts play a crucial role in cat welfare initiatives. Many individuals and community groups take it upon themselves to care for stray cats in their neighborhoods, providing regular feeding, medical attention, and shelter. These grassroots efforts are often supported by local businesses and religious institutions creating a network of care that benefits both the cats and the community. Social media and technology have also become powerful tools in promoting cat welfare in modern Muslim communities. Platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter are used to share stories, raise awareness and mobilize support for animal welfare causes. Online fundraising campaigns help to generate resources for shelters and rescue operations, enabling them to expand their reach and impact. One innovative approach to cat welfare is the implementation of Trap Neuter Return TNR, programs. These programs involve trapping stray cats, neutering or spaying them, and then returning them to their original locations. TNR programs help to control the cat population, reduce the spread of diseases, and improve the overall health of stray cat communities. In many Muslim-majority countries, TNR programs have been successfully implemented with the support of local authorities and animal welfare organizations. The influence of Islamic teachings on cat welfare is also evident in the legal frameworks of some Muslim-majority countries. For instance, laws and regulations may be in place to protect animals from abuse and neglect reflecting the broader Islamic principles of compassion and justice. These legal protections help to ensure that cats and other animals are treated with the dignity and care they deserve. In the global context, Muslim communities are also engaging in international collaborations to promote animal welfare, partnerships with global animal rights organizations, participation in international conferences, and involvement in cross-border rescue missions highlight the commitment of Muslim communities to the well-being of cats and other animals worldwide. In conclusion, modern Muslim communities and organizations are actively working to promote cat welfare, guided by the enduring values of compassion, kindness and respect emphasized in Islamic teachings. Through shelters, rescue operations, public education, volunteer efforts, and innovative programs, they ensure that cats receive the care and protection they deserve. These initiatives reflect the deep cultural and religious commitment to animal welfare, underscoring the special place that cats continue to hold in the hearts and lives of Muslims around the world.